Let's look at the autonomous threat prevention functionalities we have in R81 management available even for R80.40 gateways. The autonomous threat prevention allows us to select a single profile that includes threat prevention functionalities and all relevant settings and see statistics on the execution of these security functionalities with a single panel. You can get more details in the Knowledge Base article 165393. Checkpoint Autonomous Threat Prevention allows to select a profile of predefined security settings and assign it to your gateway and install it together with your security policy. If you are not sure which profile is best meeting your needs, you can go to the overview panel and you see that for example the strict profile enables threat preventions of a severity of low or above and that even Microsoft SMB file transfers and copy mechanisms are protected using the threat prevention functionality for sandboxing, command and control protection and cleaning files from potential malicious elements. You can manage file specific activities. For example, if you want to block executable files, you just can block it. Under the settings menu, you can define to enable or disable certain functionalities. Here in my lab, I have a gateway with not enough memory, so I cannot use the sanitization. And I'm disabling the archive scanning of the antivirus engine as anyhow, I'm sending all the files to the sandbox for emulation, which is giving me a much better threat prevention than the traditional antivirus. Under the exceptions menu, you can define exceptions for the threat prevention, just like you are known for the traditional management of threat prevention. On the gateway, you simply enable the Infinity Autonomous Threat Prevention and you see that all functionalities will be available in case active on the security profile. An important element in threat prevention is the observation and monitoring of outbound traffic that is not belonging to a known category and not belonging to any known application. This is why you want to have rules that either block or at least monitor very detailed, including the amount of data that is exchanged for unknown traffic. If these rules are matching, you definitely want to investigate and act upon it to investigate if these machines are maybe impacted by any malicious or strange behavior. Thank you for your attention.